okay hello everyone welcome back to database tutorials today tutorial is about a query adapter and query adapters are used to execute SQL statements against the database uh, to test that we need a simple table um, you can use any table of course but in this example we have the people table which contains person name phone address so it's actually a very simple address book okay so you we have this database I already have a project here first thing to do is of course adding a data source so click next and new connection browse this test database test the connection press ok next I will not include the database in the project uh, press next and I want the people table of course click finish so far this is exactly the same thing that you do with uh, every database application we are gonna drag this and drop it as a data grid on the form I don't want to do any navigation so I'm gonna remove the navigation bar here okay and I'm gonna prevent the end user from adding editing and deleting and I'm gonna dock this into the parent, uh, parent container okay so what am I gonna do now is add the ability to insert a new people or address book values into the database and uh, to do that instead of using the control you I am gonna create a function so how do you do it go to the solution explorer and here you will find the data set that the wizard created for you in or, uh, okay in order to connect to the database double click that what are you gonna see here is the table adapter and the, the people table this is a definition and this is the table adapter which contains two methods for and get data okay uh, so we are gonna add now a query so first of all go to the toolbar uh, sorry toolbox view the toolbox table adapter is used to define another table in the database and uh, define the full and get data method okay we will not add another uh, table instead we are gonna add a query so drag this and drop it on any empty space on the form okay so the wizard discharge now it's gonna ask me which database to connect to basically I'm gonna use the same connection you can see here this is just connection string by setting okay so press next we are gonna use a SQL statement for sure press next okay now uh, since we want to add a new record select insert and click next now if you see any text in this window uh, uh, in this window you should add, uh, uh, write a SQL statement if you see any text uh, it will be easier to remove it and then select the query builder now it's gonna ask you which table do you want to to add to the wizard it's the people table here so add it now uh, select the columns okay now uh, this is the SQL statement okay now this SQL statement is not entirely true you need to specify a number of parameters so p1 p2 p3 so these are the missing parameters keep in mind um, uh, you must supply all the parameters you can continue without supplying the parameters but, but later on when you execute the, the function you will get error this is for second remember the order of parameters this is person name then comes the phone then comes the address okay so, okay, so let's finish press next now this will be the name of the function so here oh, I'm gonna call it add person because when we execute it we will add another record which represent another person so press next um, this is just for confirmation uh, press finish that's it now next step is to define the parameters right now the function doesn't have any parameter so come to the parameter section uh, property here and click the ellipse uh, obviously we have three parameters uh, one two three the first parameter is the person name and the second parameter is the phone oh, I'm gonna call it person phone 
Okay, person's phone. And the last one is person address. Okay. So we have this. I'm going to press OK. Our work is finished here. Now let's add the code into the form. Okay, first of all, we will not add it right away. We are going to create a form that will get us the three values uh, and add it to the database. So go here, right click, add, and Windows form. Okay, I'm going to leave it as it is, form 2, press add. Okay, I'm going to need a label. I'm going to need a text box. Okay. So this is the name, the phone, and the address. Okay. And I'm going to need two buttons one for OK and one for cancel. Okay. And let me put these in the corner. I am going to fix the names in a minute. Okay, so change these. This will be name. Second one, phone. Last one, address. So we have name, phone, address. This will be cancel. And this will be okay. Okay. Obviously, when you press cancel, the window closes. This is why we write me dot close. Um, let's go back here. Now, what we want to do is when we press OK, we need the values to be inserted into the database. So we need to create an instance of the queries table adapter. Okay. Uh, so in order to do that, write dimension QA equals new um, now uh, the test data set table adapters dot uh, queries table adapter okay in case you cannot figure out or remember how to uh, or remember how to reach that uh, it's actually very easy first of all uh, you need to access your solution here. It's Windows 27 solution So you can write Windows 27 solution then put a dot uh, and test data set table adapters and dot Queries table adapter. Okay, so it's just a simple hierarchy um, You won't have problem finding things this way. Anyway, so we define the, the object now we insert the value so QA dot and as you can see the first per, uh, first method is the one used to uh, add the person the one we created so person name text box one dot text second one text box two dot text and last one text box three dot text okay and this function return integer which represent how many rows are affected I'm gonna I'm not gonna check that but basically this is what happens and after that usually the window should close so me dot close that's it uh, now let's go back to the main form and we are gonna add a menu strip here okay and here people I'm gonna add so when I press add two things happen form Two dot show dialog. Now this will show the control and allow me to add a person or maybe cancel the addition. After that, I should refresh the display, which means reload the data from the database. This line, okay, will do the job. Okay, me dot people data adapter dot fill test data set people. Okay, since the data grid view is linked to this uh, data set. Uh, updating it will update the data grid view okay uh, if you remember the, the first and second tutorial uh, the data grid is bound you to this table or this uh, data set okay so uh, the code now is, is finished let's run and test so press run wait a few seconds and there we go I am gonna add a, per a person so we got this window 
AAA, BBB, CCC, plus OK, and there you go. Let me add again. Obviously, the interface needs to be cleared. Anyway, so as you can see, and you can keep adding and so on. It's, it's very simple. Next, we are gonna try another another query, which one, uh, which is the one that allows us to delete rows. Okay, so what we have to do is go back to the data set, right click on the queries table adapter and select add query. Now, press next, SQL statement of course, now this one is gonna be delete. Next, um, I am gonna write a SQL right away. So delete from people where p name equal p1. Okay, press next. The name it will be remove person. Okay, press next and press finish. Now the parameter I will have to supply just one parameter and it will be the person name. Okay. And that's it. So let's go back to our form now. I will select the the person from this data grid and remove uh, the person. So let me add the remove remove entry. Double click that. Now all I have to do is first get the name. So dimension and me as string. Now nme equal the name of the data grid uh, is people data grid view dot selected selected rows now the first selected row will have the num number zero dot the name lies in the first column which is which is column zero dot value now I can remove the, the person so dimension QA equal Windows application 27 dot table adapters dot queries here uh, sorry this should be new object okay so now QA dot remove person as you can see here and I'm gonna use an ME after removing the person I have to refresh the display and that's it so let's try this out okay so I am gonna select this one I am gonna remove select this one and remove again and yeah and so on I, ca I can remove the others it's, it's very simple okay uh, similarly you can add an update method uh, you can add um, a select method that's a term one value for example finding the maximum value minimum value average and the stuff like that um, yeah so this is pretty much it. Uh, so this concludes the tutorial about adding uh, query adapter. Let's, let me just show you how to get the number of records. Uh, it will be a little bit more of a practice. And also later on, let me uh, make this application a little bit better. So right click here, select add. I'm going to select next, SQL statement. Uh, now I'm going to return a single value okay so here select count for example star from people now this function is gonna return how many person in the address book obviously this doesn't need any parameter uh, person count that's it so press next and press finish okay so this is it